I need to be honest with you. I agreed to this marriage for the sake of our families. I I don't have feelings for you. He was standing in front of the big glass window facing outside while his voice was low and serious. You both were not a complete strangers but also not lovers before this marriage. A friendship turned into a marriage because of your families. His words hit you like a cold wave, chilling you to the bone. You had hoped that maybe over time things could change, but now standing there in your wedding dress, you felt a deep sense of rejection. Yet you kept your composure and nodded slowly. I understand. I guess we both have a lot to process. Your voice was barely above a whisper. The fact that you are married and your husband is saying that he doesn't have feelings for you. It feels so disheartening even though you know it's obvious. Jungkook slowly turned towards you. He felt bad for breaking it to you, but he just wanted to be honest so that if things might not work out, you won't end up heartbroken. Wayan, I know I shouldn't have to say such things especially when we just got married, but I want to be completely honest with you. completely transparent we both were forced into this marriage and our feelings are the same i hope you understand he forced a weak smile i do jungkook and you don't have to feel bad about it in fact i'm happy that you want to be honest instead of playing along i don't know what future holds both of us or this unexpected relationship but i hope we will still remain friends sure we will always be You both stood there in a heavy silence but still instead of feeling hurt or hating each other you both tried to accept and understand each other's feelings even though you didn't tell him that you like him You can sleep in the bed I'll be outside so if you need anything just call me but what if someone sees you I mean he understood your concern Don't worry about that. I'll manage. Good night. You gave a nod while he left the room, softly closing the door behind him. Once he left your side and sat on the bed. Why do parents never understand this? I don't want to be the reason for his unhappiness. He looks hurt and I know this marriage is the reason. You got a feeling your body really heavy. It was the weight of tensions about the future and your feelings for Jungkook that developed when your marriage got fixed to Jungkook. The next day Mrs. John was coming downstairs as she was planning to cook breakfast for the newlyweds with her own hands and that's why she got up early and tried to be quiet so that she won't disturb both of you. But as she reached the bottom step, she stopped in her tracks and her eyes widened in surprise. Jungkook was sleeping on the couch while a thin blanket draped over him. He wasn't even fitting on the couch because of his tall figure. Mrs. John came near him while her face was a mix of confusion and worry. She gently shook his shoulder. Jungkook, wake up. Jungkook stirred a little and then he noticed his mother so he quickly sat down. Mom, what are you doing here? Why aren't you in your bedroom? Jungkook ran his fingers through his hair trying to wake up. I'm asking something, Jungkook. Why did you not sleep in your room? Jungkook looked at her. I didn't want to make her uncomfortable. It's our first night and I thought it would be better to give her some space to adjust. Mrs. John's expression softened with understanding. I know, son, but you are her husband now. She needs to feel your presence to know you are there for her. Jungkook looked at her. Mom, it's an arranged marriage. She's still getting used to everything. I didn't want to rush her or make her feel pressured. And don't worry, she's fine with that. 
Mrs. John sighed, sitting down on the edge of the couch. You are thoughtful, Jungkook, but marriage is about building a life together, supporting each other through the adjustments. She might need space, but she also needs to know she can rely on you. Jungkook got up, grabbing the pillow and the blanket before looking at his mother. I want to go with the flow, mom. It's not like anyone has asked us whether we truly want this marriage or not. Mrs. Chan looked down while Jungkook walked away. She sighed and got up. A day will come when you will never be able to live without her. I can see the care for her in your eyes, even when you don't show it. Jungkook came upstairs and stopped in front of your room. He noticed that you still didn't come out of the room. For some time, he stood there in silence, fighting with his thoughts, but then decided to go inside. You were laying down in bed, staring at the ceiling. Jungkook's words had been honest but painful, leaving you feeling heavy and unsure. You hadn't left the room yet, reluctant to face the day and the questions from people. Suddenly, there was a soft knock on the door, pulling you from your thoughts. You sat up, hesitating before answering, "Yes, it's me." Jungkook's voice came from the other side, gentle and cautious. "Can I come in?" You took a deep breath. Sure. Jungkook entered. His expression was one of concern. He closed the door quietly behind him and approached you slowly, as if afraid to disturb your fragile state. Are you okay? You nodded and slowly got up. Yes. I noticed you hadn't come out yet. I thought you might not be comfortable. It's just I don't know what to do. Jungkook understood that you were nervous. He remembered his mother's words. You might need a space, but still you need to rely on someone in this new house. I understand. I wanted to see if there's anything I can do to help. You looked at him surprised by his genuine offer. Thank you, Jungkook. I think I just need some time. He looked around. Um, and also, you know, we have a reception tonight, but you don't have to feel nervous or anything. Only close friends and relatives are coming, and they are nice. You nodded, although you were really nervous. How funny that we are attending all the events, taking their blessings for something we don't even know by ourselves. He looked at you confused. I'm not complaining, Jungkook. It's just something I think I don't even know where this marriage is going to take us. He looked down. He knew that what he said yesterday might hurt you. I'm sorry, Vyan, for all those things I said yesterday. You shook your head. I told you that you don't have to say sorry. I'm happy that you were honest. That was a huge step, and I'm happy that you shared your true feelings with me. He looked at you. We have time, so we can take things slowly. It will be better if it's honest rather than being forced. We can't force ourselves to love anyone, right? It won't last long. You looked at him, wanted to tell him that you already got feelings for him, and it's growing each day, even though you want to stop. You are right. We can't force ourselves to love someone, but sometimes we fell in love so unexpectedly that it gets too late when we realize that we are in love. A few drops of tears formed in your eyes, and Jungkook looked confused. You looked at him, wiping your eyes. I will be needing help in wearing the dress for reception. If you could send anyone to help, you try to change the topic. Don't worry about it. I'll ask mom. You forced a smile and nodded. We should freshen up and join everyone at the breakfast table. You slowly gave a nod. Before going towards the bathroom, he looked at you. And don't worry about anything. I'll be here to help you as much as I can.
your heart skipped a beat you don't know if this is out of love or he's just being caring and supportive but anyways you knew you're falling for him more and more every minute thank you he nodded and walked inside the bathroom before closing the door softly You and Jungkook join everyone at the breakfast table. He pulled out a chair for you and the way he cares about you in small gestures. You knew he's a gentleman and what he said last night was because he wanted to be genuine. Thank you so much. You sat sitting on the chair while Jungkook took a seat beside you. Mr and Mrs John exchanged a glance at each other as they could see a connection building between both of you. You are a part of the family, Wayan. I want you to feel completely comfortable here. I know it's a lot to adjust to, but we are all here to support you," she said in a gentle tone. "Thank you so much, mom." She smiled and served you and Jungkook breakfast by herself. Most of the people who will come to the reception already knows you. They are excited to meet you and welcome you into the family. You have got nothing to worry about. Jungkook nodded in agreement. She's right. They are all good people and they'll make you feel at home. You appreciated their efforts to ease your nerves. I'm just a bit overwhelmed, but I'll try my best. Mrs. Jung reached out, squeezing your hand gently. Take your time. We are here for you every step of the way. You felt so good seeing their support and care. You nodded. Thank you, mom. Finally the evening wore on you tried to put on a brave and smiling face as all the guests were coming and congratulating you it would have been a state of panic for you but as Jungkook was standing beside you you felt at ease his presence was enough to ease so much of your tension Ummu you both are finally together look how beautiful you guys look together just made for each other you look towards Jungkook he forced a smile Thank you aunt. Just smile more. You have got such a beautiful wife. You should be jumping out of happiness. She was a bit funny so you have to try not to smile. Okay, I'm going to your mom. You guys enjoy. As she walked away, Jungkook looked at you. She's a little free soul. I don't mind her words. She's sweet. You said turning your face towards him and Jungkook could feel his heart skipping a beat when he saw a small and soft smile on your face. Your family and relatives are really sweet. Jungkook was really puzzled by his thoughts and this unknown chaos suddenly started inside him. Hey man, sorry I'm late. A voice pulled him out of his thoughts and when he looked to his side a smile appeared on his face as he walked near the guy and they both hugged. You are very late. He said pulling back. I tried my best to come as soon as possible but caught up in some important work. By the way, I'm excited to see your wife. Jungkook and Taemin walked near you. Hello, Wayan. Wayan, he's my friend Taemin. You smiled and nodded. Hello. Jungkook is very lucky that he got such a beautiful wife. By the way, I'm his best friend. He chuckled softly because he was a little bit playful type. After a little bit of chatting and talking Jungkook was called by some relatives as they were having some conversation. As the evening went on you were alone for a moment. The room was full of laughter and chatter but you felt alone. Then Jungkook's best friend Taemin came up to you. He had always been friendly maybe a bit too much but this time his look felt different. Why are you standing alone Wayan? Are you not comfortable? You looked at him and forced a smile. There's nothing like that. I'm just okay this way. He smiled.
I can understand that it's hard to get comfortable in new place. But to be honest, Jungkook is really very lucky. I don't know if he realized it or not, but he got a diamond. He said stepping closer than necessary and you could feel uneasy now. His intentions doesn't look good and Jungkook was also not there. Thank you. You forced a smile and tried to step back a little but Taemin moved closer, his hand gazing your arm in a way that sent shiver down your spine. If I were on his place, I would have never leave my wife alone like this. You know he's a bit reserved type of guy, but it's okay, you will get used to him. Arranged marriages are not that easy, but you seem to adjust with him. We are trying. You said taking a step back as now you really don't want him to stand in front of you. Oh, come on, Vyan, don't be shy. We are all friends here, right? Your eyes widened when he tried to touch your waist, but before you could react, Jungkook appeared out of nowhere, his eyes blazing with anger as he grabbed Taemin's hand, pulling him away from you with surprising force. What the hell do you think you are doing? Jungkook's voice was low and dangerous, a stark contrast to his usual calm look. You felt disgusting by Taemin. Taemin tried to laugh it off, but the tension in the air was serious. Hey man, I was just, just what? Jungkook cut him off, stepping between you and Taemin, just harassing my wife. Back off Taemin, now. His face paled and his eyes wide with shock. Jungkook, I, now, before I end everything here, just get lost. Jungkook repeated his words were cold as ice. Taemin swallowed hard, his confidence crumbling under Jungkook's fierce gaze. Alright, alright, I'm going. He walked away from there while Jungkook's jaws clenched along with his fist. He almost lost his control when he saw the scene in front of him. He might have done so much more. Jungkook turned to you, his expression softening immediately. Are you okay? He asked while his voice filled with genuine concern. Yes, he's a looking down. I'm so sorry, Vyan. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have to leave you alone. It's okay, it wasn't your fault. Jungkook took a deep breath, running a hand through his hair. I know what I said last night, but seeing that, seeing him touch you like that, it made me realize something. He paused, searching for the right words. I may not have feelings for you now, but I care about you and I won't let anyone hurt you. He looked into his eyes, seeing the sincerity there. Maybe, just maybe this marriage wasn't entirely hopeless. Thank you, Jungkook. Maybe we'll figure it out one day. We will definitely. I will try my best. He saw a new hope in his eyes and now you know that your future is together with him. Let's go now. You nodded and you both went inside.